If you look inside your heart, no need to wonder why. The miracle occurred for zebra and the dragonfly. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I do not know when it started, but I just loved singing. I played uh, the piano when I was a child because my grandmother supported this and uh, sponsored me and my brother to play piano. And then there was a children's choir in our village and I just wanted to be in there. And I always sang under the shower and everywhere. My br big brother was always so, oh, be quiet when my friends are here. Please don't sing that loud. <laughs> and I just sang loud and wanted to, to, to sing. And And what about the, like your social skills? Do you think that singing helped you to improve your social skills? Totally. Uh, when I remember being at school, was with my normal class. I was just a normal girl and I was maybe more kind of shy. But when I turned to the music room and we had choir rehearsal and um, sang collectively, then I was more at the upper point of my seat and I was more present and I was more because I know that I love singing and I know that I can sing and this was more I was more present there collective singing can also give people a chance to speak through singing to other people which is not maybe able in a normal situation with a group of other people because when you're singing together or doing collective singing in a choir you have to listen to each other you have to look at each other you have to dive together into the music and start and stop at the same time and just being aware of each other and so you have to to build up a real awareness for the other people around you and i think this brings people very much together and it helps for your um, empathy to other people something nina actually extremely interesting and you use this expression uh, you build awareness for the other people Well, for sure, there are not all of the people in my friends, but I spend time with him. And often there are also maybe some strange people or people I would not spend my time with or not go into holiday. But this is the thing when you're in the choir. And I think that when you go then have concerts and be on tour, that a group can support maybe also difficult people, that they can be in a safe surrounding and that they can have fun and they can have kind of friends. Choirs are very open and very fair. A group can support everything everyone there this can also be very inclusive i think that a lot of people are longing for this but maybe the most of them do not know where to find it yeah when i'm talking to people who are not singing in a choir and i'm telling them that where i spent the whole weekend together that i'm leaving somewhere earlier because i have to to get my choir rehearsed and all these things some people outside my choir were thinking oh my god what's she going crazy with this choir oh so because they do not know they have never been to it they never sang and so I think a lot of people would maybe sing or do collective singing if they would know what it really makes to you and how it can change your life. There are shirts where it's written on don't go to a therapy, just find a good choir. And then you have the solution. Well, this is kind of fun, but I think there's truth in it. And maybe it also helps in releasing emotions because when you sing out, You are also kind of releasing what you have inside and expressing your feeling. Mm -hmm. That's right, what you're saying. When you're happy and you can share this happiness with other people. Honestly, I'm since a few months also in the other way around. I lost a very, very dear friend of mine from my choir, one of my closest friends. I'm kind of crying every choir rehearsal since then. So feeling the music, the power of music also and being uh, silent and being sad. And it's okay. It's the, the thing, what it is. Mm -hmm. and we have to deal with this and we are there and talking to each other and dealing with this death of one of our um, dearest sopranos. And Yeah, I, I also think it's uh, uh, anyway a way of releasing also negative emotions that if they stay inside, maybe they become, you know, heavier and heavier. If they are singing in a choir, they could go to the next choir rehearsal and maybe tell the neighbors that they love singing and that they're happy to sing together and that this is a pure gift that they are doing this. If you are not singing in a choir, 
maybe you should find a choir. Be brave and try it out. I'm sure you will never forget this experience and you will love it. Bye.